live view. Hello, my name is Jay Overmoen. I own New Vision Photographics, or New Vision Photo, as the handle is known on eBay. Uh, I've re been recently selling uh, flex joint replacement joints uh, for the Durst Laborator or L1200 and uh, a few people have asked me to post a video which uh, shows how to replace the uh, flex joint. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The first thing I'd like to say is that normally there's a cover which goes over this which is held down by three three millimeter metric screws and all you do is simply remove the three metric screws covering uh, cover plate and you set it to the side. I don't have that cover plate but it's straightforward. There's one, two, three. Um, three millimeter metric screws. Remove it, set it to the side. Okay. The first thing you want to do in order to change the flex joint is to remove the extension rod. This is the extension rod. Uh, traditionally, traditionally uh, this is the point where there would be a rubber, bra a rubber gasket or a rubber um, flex joint instead of metal that you would uh, remove. Um, so what you do is you take your you take your 1.5 millimeter metric Allen wrench, which came with your flex joint. I did that to make it simple, simplified for you. And what you do is you rotate just slightly the, the Allen so that you can release the tension on it or break it loose. Now, if it doesn't release right away, what you'd like to do then is to uh, put a couple drops of oil on it, 3-in-1 oil and E-Light machine oil, and let it set overnight so you don't uh, run any risk of harming the Allen uh, bolts. Okay, first place the uh, Allen bolt with the long handle and the shortest part closest to the Allen. I'm trying not to block my light. You place it inside till it's nice and seated. Once you feel it's nice and seated, then you'll rotate it lefty-loosey or counterclockwise. Once it's broken like that, you can then switch the Allen over. You don't have to remove the Allen all the way, but turn it about three or four turns until it's loose. Then you're going to rotate the handle a little bit more and break loose the second Allen. Place the second, place the Allen wrench once again where the shortest end is in the Allen. Make sure it's seated well. If it is too tight to release, like I said, put a couple drops of 3-in-1 oil on it, let it sit overnight, it'll loosen right up. And when you do that, make sure that the gravity bottom uh, where the oil would naturally want to flow to uh, surrounds the threads. Don't have it in a vertical position where the oil can't, uh, you know, saturate the threads. Okay, so then you turn it to the left and loosen it, just like that. Okay, then now that you've broken it loose with the long handle, you put the long part of the Allen in and you turn it about three or four turns and then you set down your Allen and you gently pull that off, okay? Now remember, at this point, this would not be a metal flex joint. What that would be is the original Durst rubber mount which is torn loose or is about ready to go. Uh, they have a very finite life. And, uh, and so what you're going to do is, assuming that this is the bad one, you'll stick your Allen in once again so that the short end is in, holding it like so with your finger like so, break it loose, lefty-loosey, like that. Once you break it loose, you can put the long handle in, 
turn it a few times, do the same thing here. On the second Allen, break it loose, and then slide it off, okay? Now, so now we're assuming that you just got your package in the mail, you've successfully removed the rubber mount, even though this is metal, you're just assuming it's the rubber, it has the identical uh, inside diameters on both sides is the rubber. And uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to open up your package, if you haven't already, slip this inside, and the most critical thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is to make sure that at least one of the Allens is tightened down on the flat part 